Steph Curry, he told me the other day that this very well may be his first and his last Olympics. And just looking around, there's a sense that there could be that case made also for LeBron James, maybe even Kevin Durant. Katie, this is your fourth Olympic Games. Will this be your last? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just asked me. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to enjoy this one, stay in the present, have some fun along the way, you know. We'll see. And that's why you know I was so excited and honored to have the opportunity to do it. Conversations kind of started last fall. LeBron James really started it last summer when he had conversations with Steph Curry, conversations with Kevin Durant about forming this kind of last dance at Team USA for those three in particular. This is really LeBron James, his vision for the team. When you think about him, Steph Curry and Kevin Durant, and you're seeing it kind of come to life. And you know, after the struggles for the you know, World Championship team, which it happens, the, the world's getting better. Um, we started talking about, you know, who would want to commit to, you know, this journey. Team USA has given a lot to me, so I feel like, you know, it's, it's an opportunity for me to give back. You know, I'm happy to be a part of, uh, you, know, you know, the men's senior national team once again, you know, being in Paris and being alongside, you know, you know some greats, you know, some of the greats that, that we've ever seen in Steph Curry, Kevin Durant. Just to name a few. This is like the that last scene <laughs> in the Avengers when like Doctor Strange come in and Captain America got the fucking Thor hammer and all these motherfuckers going crazy. Y'all got the Avengers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's what's like for you? What does that feel like? You know what I'm saying? Talk about in within the conversation of separating yourself and being like getting that baton pass from Braun and yeah. them. No, it's it's uh, it's crazy because you compete. I've been in the league for seven years, so I've played against all these guys. And, you know, on that level and, and had to go against KD in the playoffs twice and, and Bron and played against Steph in the finals. So I have that level of appreciation for them. Even when I was, before I got to the league, these were the guys that I was watching. Mm -hmm. And now that we on the same team, it's like, damn. Like we did photos the other day and, and those three went off to the side and took a picture together. And it's like, I had to take a step back and be like, man, like that is, those are three of the best players it's ever to play this game. and. We all teammates right now going to try to win a gold medal. And I don't know if it was the fan or the, the kid in me, but that was like, man, this is dope. Like, I'm on a team with KD, Bron, and Steph. I'm not trying to make you feel old, but you've obviously been around a minute. So is LeBron, so yeah. is Steph. You guys are all playing together here. Does it sort of feel like, I don't want to say necessarily a last hurrah, but like, <laughs> no. you know, no? Nah, nah, I mean, these guys are still playing at elite level, you know? Like, Bron could play four or five more. It might be here in 28 in LA, you know? Steph's still playing great ball. Uh, I'm doing all right too, you know? So I don't want to look at it that way. I think we still got some good ball in the tank. Uh, try to contribute and impact the game still. I want it to be just like a a farewell tour or like make it just about us three. It's about, you know, trying to win this fifth in a row. This is different just because of how people kind of perceive me. It's not me and how I perceive myself. It's how people talk about me or to me and, you know, got young guys asking for advice. Even though I damn near walked in the building like I won the championship, like I'm yeah. the man right yeah. now. <laughs> but it's like, no, nah, they these was like, that was a cool moment just having those three on the team. This is like the, the superheroes, man. There's nothing like that, though. For sure. Like, that's the best part about USA basketball. This Team USA roster is a lot older, a lot different. Who do you look forward to playing with on throwing a lob to, getting getting up floor, setting somebody up or someone setting you up? Because you got Hall of Famers, you know, Mount Rushmore type of players. Who do you look forward to playing with the most? Well, I mean, top to bottom, it's hard to make that choice just because of, you know, everybody on our team, I would say, I mean, every. Yeah. Half, maybe a little more than half of the guys, if they retired today, they'd be Hall of Famers, you know? So yeah. that's the, the privilege that I have to, to be on the court with these guys. But, but it's definitely LeBron, no question. Just because I grew up in the 2000s and LeBron being my favorite player growing up. And so now to share a court with, share the court with him and um, be in the locker room with him and pick his brain, and all those things has been, has been awesome already through one day. So I just look forward to keep doing that on a consistent basis through this time here. So it's definitely, it's definitely LeBron. You know, guys, I, used to, I watched, 
Ed um, was just 22 years old. Like he watched us when he was a kid. So now he's on the teammates with him. So it's just a different perspective. You know, I'm playing alongside um, Steph, Brun, and KD. So I ain't got to do too much. I just got to be out there and do the right thing. I haven't been able to play with Kevin Durant, who's my favorite player. So I mean. I'm looking forward to doing that. Kevin Durant, my favorite player of all time. So once they asked me to play and I seen that he was playing, I couldn't say no. We might not play some games um, might or might not play that many minutes. I don't mind, man. Like I said, I'm playing alongside Hall of Famers. Um, so I'm just here. Um, but if they need me, I'll be, I'll be one call away. There was once upon a time, not that long ago, you were the young guy yeah. that was coming for the crown. And is there a part of you that kind of respects the circle of life in a way you I know, just, of some guy, somebody kind of trying to take it from you. Yeah, I just know how that stuff goes. It's like no taking nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can meet me there. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can, like, get to that level. But it's like you can't take what I've done from me, you know? Mm -hmm. You can be the, beat me in a game, in a, you know, in a series or something. That's cool. But, right. like, you know, the stuff that I've acquired since being in this league, like, you could just match it. Like, saying I took something from Kobe. Like, what can I take from the greats like that already accomplished anything. So it's more so just like wanting to be on that level that they were on. Is there any extra significance though to be doing it with those guys after all the stuff you guys have all collectively been yeah, through? You can, yeah, you could say that. I mean, yeah, you know, it's nothing but respect for these guys and you've seen their careers for the last 15, 20 years. And, you know, so to finally be teammates, and it's not just them, I feel that same way about AD, like just admiring them for so long. I've seen a lot in how those guys were able to compete and win and be selfless and play together. Go, 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 go! I think for myself, I'm just going to bring the juice on the defensive end. One, two, five, it. We have a lot of guys who can score the basketball and rebounding, blocking shots, holding guys accountable. I think that's going to be my role. We've got legends of the game that will be remembered forever, learning from them, Listening to them, just a big reason why I wanted to be here, and it's a once in a lifetime opportunity, like I said, so it's special. You know, having Bron as a teammate is like surreal because you have so many battles back and forth. You admire his game, you know what he's about, and to see the work up close and personal every day, to see how you know he prepares, uh, how he talks in practice. Like I've never had that vantage point with him. First two scrimmages, teaming up with LeBron. Yeah, Bron. I mean, just seeing the way his mind think, the way he be telling us to move around on the floor, just you see all the, the interviews and stuff about him, all that is true. I was blown away by how hard he practices. And I went to Ty and Spo and I said, this normal? And he said, every day, every day. Spo, I said, what about, you know, way back when you got him? Spo said, every day. Uh, he constantly works at his craft, so he, he's going to continue to you know, develop new skills uh, to put in his toolkit. So he never, he doesn't get bored with that process. You know, you can tell he, he's like a computer. So when he sees uh, another player, he's a fan of the game. So when he sees a player work on something or do something in the game, he says, oh, I want to try that. Uh, we already know about it, his mind and, and everything, but he was doing everything he, he needed, needed to do. Very committed. I think I'm number one in points um, all time, and I think I'm fourth um, in assists, you know, so. You know, my game is whatever the team calls for, I can, I can be able to provide. If it's a game where I need to you know, score bunches, I can provide that. If it's a game where I need to be in high assist games, um, I can provide that too. I've always tried to just always have my game ready and prepare for whatever the game or the team needs at that moment. So um, nothing changes with this team, um, but it's, it's going to be easier for me. I mean, when you, you're playing against, you're playing with, you know, potentially 11 other Hall of Famers, you know, um, you can really just go out and just let the game just come to you. Um, I can score if I want to, but I can rebound and you know play point forward or whatever the team, whatever Coach Curran, this coach staff need me to do, I can do whatever for this team. Every day, every drill, every walkthrough, uh, and you know I'm used to that watching Steph. I think there's a reason those guys are two of the greatest of all time. It's not just the talent; it's the incredible work ethic and attention to detail and the force with which they practice translates to how they play in the games and to how their teams uh, play because they lead the way. So I just feel incredibly honored to, uh, to be coaching LeBron and it's definitely way better to coach him than coach against him, I can tell you that. Being able to have guys that's already been through this, already know what we're up against, be able to be this experienced and understand like when we get in these moments how to handle them puts us in a better position to win. Guys who are going to the Hall of Fame. Come back, Steph. You learn to 
cherish that moment. You learn to be in that moment. You learn to understand what this is all about. I just look at my stuff being in the post and having Steph as the passer, KD and then Braun as the cutter. I guess I'm pretty good in the low post. What is it like to see those players on the court knowing that they are your teammates now? It is it's mind blowing. <laughs> uh, because for me, it's like I've, I've been fortunate enough to compete against those guys for seven years now. Uh, but I still remember when I was in high school and middle school and going home to turn on the TV and, and watch those guys play, you know, and, and we got three of the best players of all time literally on one team. When you look around here and you see LeBron and Steph Curry, I mean, just the greatest names in basketball and you're among them. What's that like looking around and, and knowing these are your teammates now? I mean, it's hard to put the words. Like I said, it's something I'm going to have to look back on and watch all the videos and watch all the tapes because right now I'm just in it. You know, I'm in it. I'm soaking up all I can, taking all the advice I can. I'm seeing how these guys move, how they operate, and, you know, just learning bits and pieces. We still have something to prove this year because there's a lot on the line. We're all making sacrifices once for being here and understanding, you know, what it means to represent Team USA. So. None of us are looking forward to going out and trying to carry the team like we sometimes have to do for our respective franchises. No one is looking forward to us coming and scoring 30 or having to get 17 rebounds. Oh, no, we just, we want to play for each other. There's, there's 11 other guys beside me that I want to play for and vice versa. And our only goal is to win a gold medal and represent Team USA with the utmost respect. And uh, we're all delighted and excited to be here. Just excited to see how our games complement each other and, and you know, build that chemistry that's going to help lead this team. I know what Steph likes the ball. I know his game. He knows my game. It's definitely a deeper team than I think I've played on, deepest team I've played on since I've been with USAB. Uh, from top to bottom, everybody is the guy on their team. I'm a firm believer you can be competitive. You can, uh, you know, have that killer instinct and see blood on the other side, but still have the utmost respect for who you're playing against. And that's a the ultimate compliment for a guy like Bron, who's always pushed the bar, you know, higher and higher with everything that he's done. There's always been mutual respect, obviously. You know, we're both competitors. I'm happy to be on the same side of him right now. I can fully enjoy this experience and get to know him at a much deeper level as, as teammates. And uh, I think that's what we both deserve at this stage in our career. It's pretty dope. It's awesome. It's awesome. I mean, the fact that uh, we are still at this um, stage in our career, we can still go out 12 years later and still perform and feel like we can perform at a high level and represent Team USA. Um, it's, um, it's a salute to our commitment to our, to our craft, um, to us staying relatively healthy. And obviously, we've had some bumps and bruises throughout our, our career, but you know, our game has um, translated from 12 years ago to now. Um, and it's always great to team up with one of the greatest to ever played this game and, and Kevin Durant. So um, I'm looking forward to that and it's, it's going to be another fun ride for sure. I'm excited about this. You know, I think the experience of 21 uh, helped the culture of USAB and what, what type of team we need to be if we want to continue to dominate. And I think we're kind of we're bringing that into this group, which is going to be fun.